So, so alarm, alarm, alert, alert is how we're wired. And then we have this rational thinking brain, but from the moment we think a thought that stimulates an emotional reactivity, or we have an experience that, that stimulates that emotional reactivity, from the moment we think the thought, it stimulates the emotion, and then we have a physiological response to what we're thinking and feeling. So let's say, uh, let's say I think of uh, you, Jason, and and uh, you dumped me 20 years ago. And now every time I think of Jason, uh, it stimulates a negative emotional response, right? And so I think you, I have this emotional response and then uh, something like noradrenaline gets dumped into my bloodstream. It floods through me, it flushes out of me and I move into rage. And every time I think of you now, uh, for the last 20 years, every time you ping into my brain, I have this loop, I run this natural loop. So that from the beginning till the end of the time something is dumped into my bloodstream and it flushes out of me takes less than 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that takes less than 90 seconds. It's called the 90 second rule. So it's kind of like timeout, right? Why does timeout work? It's because timeout takes me away from the stimulation. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, I can stay mad for a whole lot longer than 90 seconds. <laughs> but, but what you're doing is you're rethinking the thought, re-stimulating the emotion and re-stimulating so we can stay angry for hours or days or weeks or months or years, or then you're not in my presence anymore. But just now, every time I think of you, Jason, boom, it all explodes again. So, but but that emotional reactivity, the automaticity, boom, 90, less than 90 seconds, really about 90 seconds, really about 86 seconds. And you can try it on yourself. The next time you feel yourself starting to engage with trigger, literally look at your watch. And I say, look at your watch and watch the amount of time because it, it prevents you again. Now we're preoccupating, we're preoccupying the language center of that character one so that it's not, you know, rethinking, rethinking, rethinking. And, um, and watch how long it takes for you to dissipate. And then, you know, that's the moment of power. That's the moment we practice for because in, in the trigger, and I love this example of little children, you know, a little child is running along and she falls down, right? Splat. And she starts to scream and then she looks around to see, okay, is that the right response that I want to do? Or am I just going to get on and go back to playing in my three, right? So we're, we have so much more power. At that moment of startle, at that moment of of trigger, but once we're triggered, once it runs through its loop, less than ninety seconds. 